Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, negative 11 plus 10 times p plus 10 is equal to 4 minus 5 times 2p plus 11. But what I want to do is simplify on each side of the equal sign. So what I need to do is distribute that 10 across here. So I have a negative 11 plus 10 times p, which is 10p, and 10 times 10, which is 100. Right-hand side, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I have a 4 here, and I'm distributing the minus 5 across. So minus 5 times 2p is a minus 10p, and minus 5 times 11 is a negative 55. So now let's go simplify on each side of the equal sign a little bit more here. Combine our like terms. So negative 11 plus 100, right? Um, the 10p just comes down. But negative 11 plus 100, we can combine those to get an 89. So we have an 89, a positive 89 right there. Same thing on the right. The negative 10p will bring that here, negative 10p. And then we have a 4 and a minus 55. That can come together to be a minus 51. Okay. So now let's go bring our like terms together. Let's bring our variable p's to the left and our numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 10p to both sides. And I'm subtracting 89 to both sides. 10p plus 10p is a 20p. And on the right hand side, negative 51 minus an 89. Well, the 9, 1 gives us 10 carry the 1. And it's 4, 140. So 1. So we have negative 140 here, okay? So now we're going to divide by 20 to both sides to get P by itself. And P goes into negative 140, negative 7 times, right? Yeah, negative 7 times, negative 7 times. And so our final answer here is P equals a negative 7. So let's recap. We're given negative 11 plus 10 times P plus 10 equals 4 uh, minus 5 times uh, 2P plus 11. I distribute 10 across to get 10p plus 100, and distribute the minus 5 across to get minus 10p minus 55. Combine our like terms to give me 10p plus 89 on the left, and on the right, negative 10p minus 51. I then run all our variables to the left and our uh, numbers to the right, giving me 10 or 20p on the left and a negative 140 on the right. I then divide it by 20 to both sides, leaving me p isolated by itself, and so our final answer here is just p equals negative 7. 